pals, it's Sassy Cassie, and welcome back to another reaction video of Naruto. As always, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and anyone watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and following me on my shinobi journey. Second, as a reminder, or in case you are new to my channel, that even though I have been an anime fan for a fairly long time, I have never watched Naruto. However, because it's been out for so long, because of the internet, and because one of my bestest friends in the whole world just loves Naruto, there are some things about it that I already know. This is mostly like character names, maybe what they look like, no real major plot points. It has come to my attention, however, that I may know more things than I think I know, but I am not sure what these things are until they come up in the show. So, I apologize in advance if this bothers anybody, but we are just going to keep watching Naruto and enjoying it to the fullest. As a reminder, or if you didn't know from the last video, there are some periodic thunderstorms going on in my area today, so I am just gonna not wait for them to pass anymore because, you know, well... I already wanted to record anyway, but then after the last episode, we definitely can't just wait for them to pass. Which, okay, let's just get into the recap then, because the last episode was kind of like going back and forth between our three boys, aside from Naruto chasing Sasuke. We had that a little bit, but we have Shikamaru and what's her name with the red hair, and we have Kiba and the guy that can split himself into two, which isn't really two because they're brothers. Anyway, and then you have Lee facing Kibimaru. And for several episodes now, Kiba has been smelling somebody or people. And you see these shadows getting closer and closer. At the same time, our boys are struggling further and further in their battles. And it just goes back and forth with that a lot, except for maybe Lee, who had Kibimaru on the ropes for like a hot second. And it was awesome. But now... At the end of the last episode, we find out that it is the team from the Sand Village. First of all, gotta be the one to take Lee's, to come to Lee's aid. First of all, super significant. Second, Tamari coming for Shikamaru. Again, also pretty significant since they battled each other. I don't think there's a lot of significance with Kankuro. At least I think that's his name. I kind of forgot. Kankuro and uh, Kiba. But... The other two have major significance, and I am so excited. I'm so excited. I literally cannot contain myself. I had to take, like, a short break because I was so warm <laughs> from my excitement from the last episode. So we're just going to get into it, and hopefully it's going to be awesome, which I have no doubt that it will be because, come on. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay. So, slight question. They said they were allies of belief. Did they... Wait, is that what Tsunade was talking about when she said she already took care of it? Well, I went on behind the scenes. I'm so curious. That hand coming around behind the tree and the, the spike in the music, it's very scary movie-esque, and I hate it. Uh, too close. Also, purely from a bad guy perspective, wouldn't it make more sense to just take him out when he doesn't know you're there? Or did he just want to see the surprise look on his face knowing that he's been outsmarted? Questions? Open the first gate. The gate of open I should be all right. You know, I just had a thought. I was like, what happened to the bandages? Because in the last episode when he did that, there was none. And then I just saw them break apart. So my own question was answered. But this is over now. Come on. I'm racking my brain here. I mean, come on. It was, anything? come on. Uh, when they're all struggling I'm at the same the time and it's like mirroring everybody. Like, I knew it. I was, I just didn't know it was going to be them. But that still sucks. I'm like <laughs> anticipating it again. I 
wonder if Kiba knew they were there, though, because he seemed so content. <laughs> and you know what? I should have guessed it from the wind, but it wasn't until I saw Kakuro's puppet that I really knew. And then this. Ugh. On my face. Ah! What do you know? Looks like we're allies this time. Oh. Who are you? Allies of the Leaf Fang. Where's Shinobi? Of the sand. You know, they've had a wardrobe change, except for Kankudo. He looks the same. Oh, I can't help how excited I am. <laughs> still drunk or something? <laughs> no, you are perfectly fine. Oh, he stepped in front of him. Mm. He is Gara of the Sand. Gara. Is that what they call you? That's disgusting. Ugh. You fired the bones from his fingertips? Impulsive, aren't you? He still speaks the exact same, though. <laughs> but I guess he does seem a little calmer. Not as intense when you fought against me you had much more agility and sharpness yeah he just had surgery my friend because of you because of you i've had a fairly tough time of it You mean you own Naruto? Ah, uh, I'm picking up what you're throwing down. Or maybe it's just my own head cannon, but I don't care. I had heard something about how our village had finally made up with you traitors, but I didn't expect you to change sides so quickly. Okay, so they did make up. We were following orders. That's all, just like we're doing on this mission. <laughs> The fifth Hokage sent them. She saved our butts. By the way, you seem a lot dumber than the last time. <laughs> <I've come across. laughs> hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> oh. Go ahead, I'll take care of this for you. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not about to give up. And besides, a real man doesn't let a woman do his. Ah, uh, Shikamaru. Still being all macho with the man and woman stuff? You talk tough, but I know it's just an act, idiot. What is this tension? <laughs> what is this? Uh. Cyclone Psych Jutsu! Ugh. Oh my god, I forgot she could do that. Yo, she just broke her flute! Wow, why did we think of that? Why did Shikamaru think of that? Flute and nailing our opponent with a physical attack. <sighs> she can attack and defend at the same time. That's a pretty handy jutsu to have. <laughs> Tomorrow he just blew her away with one attack, literally. See him? I guess Ukon must have taken him out already. Hmm. So you say? So you fight with puppets? Hey, wait a second. When you showed up here, weren't you in a group of three people? 
The other two went on ahead. Oh. You guys couldn't hack it. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> that body position. I've seen it. Be careful. He's about to try and enter your body and combine with it. It's too late. Unless that's not really him. I can't believe it. <laughs> What's the matter, Sakon? <laughs> it's a sand. Wait a second. I thought only Gata could do that. I guess that jutsu of yours doesn't really work on puppets, does it? This one's a puppet too? Huh? Fair warning. We sand ninja aren't pushovers, like our friends from the leaf. <laughs> Rude. Big mistake. the sand ninja as enemies but his allies they're pretty amazing he also just told you you were worthless <laughs> they gonna now like be taken out of his second state Great. Awesome. This isn't the kind of enemy you can beat head to head. Back down and we'll regroup. Yeah, right. I can't back down when they show me no respect. <laughs> That's pretty fair. That look. Just captured him. Oh, no. I admit that they're bad guys, but this is not the way to go. I don't know if I like that. Let's have a puppet show. just knocked him out or something like everybody else <laughs> shows over well I guess I'm glad they're on our side then <sighs> but we'll have no idea when or where the Genjutsu will be coming from the idea is for us to be already under the spell of her <laughs> flute by the time we figure out where she is. <laughs> I love this little animation. Oh yeah, his finger is broken. Listen, sooner or later she's gonna get us cornered and that'll be that. I think we should withdraw until Excuse we... Me. Excuse me, did I ask you? for your opinion? <laughs> I love. she just put him in his place. Oh my. All right. I'm far enough away. It's time for my genjutsu. Huh? <laughs> also, I thought Tamori broke her flute. Also, she just destroyed the entire top of this forest. Sure, I feel about that. Those poor trees, but also a very wicked attack. Also, this music is very interesting. Oh, 
she dead? How was that? It's finished. <laughs> she doesn't mess around, huh? She's as subtle as a rhino. She might even be scarier than my <laughs> Pretty good, huh? This time, I guess I should be grateful she's so scary. <laughs> oh, that's kind of adorable. All right. How are you guys going to do this battle? Or is it going to end? This looks like an ending to me. Yep, sounds accurate. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna make this last bit quick. That episode was awesome. I am glad that the Shinobi, the, the Sand Shinobi are on their side, but they are kind of terrifying. Kankudo definitely killed that guy. Um, Tamati may have killed that woman. I. I don't know if this is like a showing of like how different they are, but like, I don't know. I know eventually they're going to go on like tougher missions and like, I, I get, I get it. I do, but I, I don't know. Maybe they could have just knocked them out. I don't know. But moving forward from that, the fact that Gata said that he was here because he owed the Leaf Village, but then it panning to Naruto, what he's really saying is that he owes Naruto. And I'm curious because if, the oh what was he he was i don't remember the first part but i know he was the kage of the sand village if he wasn't actually there because it actually was a rotimaru i wonder who's running the sand village now and i'm curious how how goddess place in the village might be different do people still treat him the same how has he changed he seems very different he doesn't seem as intense so i am i'm curious about that i'm curious about this next battle i'm sure it's gonna be uh super awesome super amazing but yeah this episode was was cool we got to see some people they made a they made a reappearance and it was great <sighs> okay i'm gonna just wrap it up because i don't want my power to flicker again but thank you all so much for watching and following me on this Shinobi journey. And until next time, bye!